of Moses who led three and a half million people out of the wilderness. He didn't want to do it. He didn't want to speak. He was ready to go and hide, but God said go, and he did. He did. Now let's talk about us. What has God called you to do? I want you to think about that. What are your giftings and what are your callings? And what has God spoken over your life specifically? I want you just to recall that for a minute. And then we're going to go through some things and let's see how, how you remember those things and, and what God speaks to you. Right now, we are facing the greatest revival this world has ever seen. Yes. And God is calling us. He's calling us to participate. He's calling us as eagles to fly high and to speak over people's lives and to pray over them and declare. And we're going to see miracles like we have never seen before. And God wants to use you. He wants to use each one of you. So number one, you must have a vision that aligns with the plans and desires of God to form the bride of Christ. That is his ultimate, is the bride of Christ, forming that bride for his son. 2 Corinthians 11.2, For I am jealous for you with a godly jealousy. For I betrothed you to one husband to present you as a pure virgin to Christ. Number two, your vision needs to be big, bigger than you think it can be. Ephesians 3, 20 and 21, now to him who is able to do immeasurably more than we all we ask or can imagine, according to his power that is at work within us, to, be him, to him be the glory and in the church and in Christ Jesus throughout all the generations forever and ever. Amen. So he, his desire is to form that bride in us and in those people that we know, people that we influence, and people we don't even know yet. We will change their lives by what we speak, what we pray, what we say. Number three, you must be fearless. God says not to fear 365 times in his word, one for every day of the year. <laughs> Joshua 1, 9, have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. And if you remember, Joshua was one of the ones who brought back a good report. He went. He was not going to listen to the naysayers. He was ready to go. Yeah. <laughs> number four you must learn to defend those in your care eagles never leave their young until they are ready to fly and even after that they feed them for another six months until they are strong enough and when I was preparing this I was watching videos of eagles and little baby eaglets and they're in the nest and they're flapping their wings and they're jumping up and floating around just and then they land right on the nest again they don't go very far but they're strengthening their wings and I think many of us are in a season right now where we're strengthening our wings and yeah. strengthening our legs and getting our talons ready to grab hold of what God has for us That's good here John 10 11 I am the Good Shepherd the Good Shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. And that's what we'll be doing. We've already had some practice with that, but I believe there's gonna be a lot more in the future. Yeah. yeah. Number five, you must learn to soar high above the storms of life. We all know that, right? <laughs> when you do this, this will attract other people to join you. When you can fly high above the storms of life, That's right. people will be attracted to you. They'll want to know what your secrets are, where your strength lies, and what can they do to, to be different so they can make it through the storms. Just like what Sherry was talking about earlier. She has an anointing to pray for people who've been through grief. I felt that when you were, when you were speaking. Yeah. It was really powerful. John 16, 33. 
I have told you these things so that in me you may have peace. In this world you will have trouble, but take heart, I have overcome the world. Thank you, Jesus, that we have that. We have his strength. Number six, you must learn that your strength comes from spending time with God and with other eagles, and not by trying to be a pigeon scavenging on the ground. Hello. And the pigeons, yeah, the pigeons can't see, you know, past, you know, a foot around them. They don't care. They don't care. They don't glide high in the sky, right? And of course, I, I thought Psalm 91 is so, so perfect for this. He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress, in him will I trust. Number seven, realize that God gives eagles discernment and understanding behind the enemy's back. We've got a power from the Lord that I don't think we've tapped into fully. Amos 3, 7 says, Surely the Lord does nothing until he reveals his secrets to his prophets. Number eight, good leaders invest in others. They are not bosses, but they are mentors, empowering and directing others to succeed. They want to see other people succeed. They will continue as long as people need them to. Yeah. True leaders. Yeah. In 2 Timothy 2.14, it says, Remind them of these things, charging them before the Lord, not to strive about words to no profit, to the ruin of the hearers. Be diligent to present yourself approved to God, a worker who does not need to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth, but shun profane and idle babblings, for they will increase to more ungodliness. So God wants us to be empowered as mentors for other people. People need mentors. There are not a lot of good mentors out there today. And that's important to him because he wants to see everybody make it. So I want you just to close your eyes bow your head and I just want you to think about these things as we pray in closing I want you to ask the Lord what he wants you to do do you already know what he's called you to do do you have what it takes to be an eagle if you have a desire to be an eagle then ask him ask him what he wants you to do Lord, make us to be one of your eagles. Teach us to fly high in your spirit. Lord, teach us to love your people, to care for your people, to mentor them, to fly high above all the issues and problems and challenges and trials of life. And Lord, we ask you to show us what you want us to do. Speak to our hearts today. We ask you to show us our giftings and remind us of forgotten words that you have spoken over us. And then lead us through our door of destiny today. You promised this was the year of the open door. Yes. And we ask you to lead us to that door Give us specifics, give us visions, give us dreams. Just drop things in our heart, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for what you're doing. Yes. Thank you for your people who want to be eagles. In Jesus' name, amen. All right.